The try is a tree-like data structure used for storing and efficiently searching for strings. It comes from the word retrieval, but is pronounced like try to differentiate it from tree. They are also called prefix trees because tries use the fact that some words share the same prefix. For example, the words try, try, and tree all share the same prefix tr. So we can organize these words into a tree such that the common prefix correspond to a single path. To build a try, we start by creating an empty root node. Then we insert the words one by one. If we start with the word try, we take the first letter of this word and create a labeled arc from the root to a new node. Then we read the second letter and add an arc labeled R that goes from the node we've just created to a new node we need to create. And we repeat the same operation for the last letter. Once we've read all the letters, we are going to set a property in the node to indicate the end of a word. Here I'm setting the background color of the node to green to indicate the end of the word. Let's continue with our second word. We start from the root node and read the first character in the word, which is a T. The root node has an arc labeled with the letter T, so we can follow this link. We continue by reading the second letter in the word. The node we are currently in has an arc named R, so we follow it. We keep going by reading the third letter in the word, but this time we can't move forward in the tree, so we create a new arc labeled I and a new node. And we do the same for the last character. Then it's the same idea for the last word. We move from node to node when reading our characters. When we can't move forward, we add new nodes in the tree. Let's implement a try in JavaScript. A try is made out of nodes. So we can create a node class to represent a node. Each node will have two properties that we will initialize in our constructor. A node can have zero, one, or several children. We will store children in an object where the keys are the labeled arcs and the values are the nodes. We also need to store whether or not a node corresponds to the end of a word. We initialize this value to false. Okay, now that we can create nodes, Let's define our try class. A try starts with an empty node called the root. Then we construct it by inserting words. To insert a word, we start from the root and iterate over every letter in the word. If the current node we are looking at doesn't have a corresponding child for this letter, then we create a new node, which becomes the child of the current node for this letter. And then we update the value of the variable node. Once we've read all the letters in the word, then we've reached the end of the word, so we set the property is end of the current node to true. And this is enough to build a try. Now let's define a method to search for a word in the try. Searching for a word is very similar to inserting a word. So we start with the root, then we iterate over the letters of the word we are looking for. If the current node doesn't have a child for the letter we are reading, then we can return false because the word doesn't exist in the try. Otherwise, we move forward by updating the value of the current node and we keep going. If we are able to read all the letters in the word, then we return node.isEnd to indicate whether or not the current node we are looking at is the end of a word. So that's the classic way to define a search method in a try. But I actually want to do something a little bit more interesting. I want to build a sort of English dictionary with autocomplete. Just a simple input in which you can type a few letters and have a list of English words that begin with these letters. So let's create a new project and open it in VS Code. Let's add an index.html file and add the basic HTML5 structure. We will have a main section with an input of type text with the ID search box a placeholder with search box and autocomplete to off. Next to it, let's add a div with id res box that will contain the result of the search. We need a place to run our code, so let's add a script tag of type module with source set to main.js. Let's create this main.js file and define two constants to all the input and the div. Now we can add an event listener to the input, so on key up, 
we can get the value of the input and add it to Resbox. Let's start up a live server and try it. Is this working? Yes, it is. Okay, so I found this English dictionary on GitHub with a MIT license, so I should be able to use it. I can download it and take a look at it. There's some non-printable characters in it, but I'm too lazy to remove them, so whatever. I asked ChatGPT to extract the words into a JavaScript array. It gave me a script that I modified a little bit. I can run this script with Node.js and it outputs the file dictionary.js. It contains an array of objects. Each object contains a word and its definition. Let's print the number of words in it real quick. 36,665. Not too bad. We can now import it in main.js so we can use it later. Let's now create a file to hold our try. I'm just going to copy paste the code we just wrote. Okay, so the idea here is to build the try using the words of the dictionary. And when we type something in the input, we show all the words starting with what we typed. To do that, instead of storing a boolean in the property is end, we can store the index of the word in the dictionary. So inside the node class, we can set is end to minus one. And inside try, we can add the parameter id to the insert method and set is end to id. Now we can modify the search function to return the IDs of all the words beginning with whatever the user is typing. So we can define an array to store the IDs. Inside the loop, if a character is not found, then no word begins with the user's input. So we can return the IDs, which will be an empty array. If we make it out of the loop, we all the reference to a node in the try. And we want to get all the words in this subtree. So we can make a simple depth first search, grab all the indices and return them all. Okay, now we are ready. We can create the try by inserting the words of the dictionary. We can modify the event handler first. If the value is empty, we clean the rest box. Otherwise we fit it to the try and get the indices of the words. Finally, we just need to print them to the page. And that's it. Let's try it out. Looks good to me. Our try works well, but it suffers from a significant memory usage. In this example, our try contains 131,221 nodes. But there's a simple optimization we can make to divide that number by three. But that will be the topic for a different video.